What's going on guys? I'm the white guy. Hopefully the microphone's not peaking because it's fighting me right now. Of course, as soon as some new stuff comes out that I want to get videos up on quickly, the microphone starts fighting me. But um, I'm not going to be running these videos through Vegas. I'm just going to be putting up the raw files straight onto YouTube and hopefully everything on that works out alright. Let me know if it does because this um, the Rocket Wing DLC just came out and I would like to be able to get videos up on it sooner rather than later. And uh, I can do that a heck of a lot faster if I can just throw the video straight up onto YouTube instead of having to render through it and adjust all the audio levels. So I've condensed everything down to one track to, uh, and a path that hopefully works. And we're just going to kind of fly around here and see if we can do anything interesting. Uh, what mountain? I don't even know what mountain we're on. Right? Why did I say we're in Alaska? Are we? Is this Alaska? I think this is Alaska. This, this is Alaska, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, how do I change? The other mountain's got some other better wing suiting things going on with it, so I know that one might be interesting. We'll switch back to the Alps here. Yes, let's switch, and then we've got to wait through the SSD load time here. It should be a lot faster than on consoles. And but this video is just going to be about the Rocket Wing, and hopefully I'll have a couple more up today about the, um, the you can like ski and parachute at the same time now, and there's base jumping and all kinds of things. So this is just going to be about the Rocket Wing for today, which is the sky. And rockets engaged. There we go. We can like blast down the side of the mountain going pretty freaking fast. Ooh, watch the tree, watch the tree. And uh, yeah, that seems to be a little bit, just a little unrealistic with the amount of. Oh, we just don't know how we got out of that without crashing into a tree. That's fun, but it seems a little unrealistic with the amount of fuel you use. But um, because you shouldn't be able to fly this as long as this thing goes. So the boost in this apparently just goes forever. But it seems like it's a good way to be able to travel around the mountains now because before this came. Before this rocket wing here to travel around the mountain, you either had to use the paraglider or this whole mountain view type thing here. And this is going to be a lot faster than using the mountain view. I want to see which one's, uh, which one, there's a mountain over here. I can't remember which one is going to play this game in a long time, but one of these mountains has like a, a good spot for, oh, peak of, that, that's it right there, that. I think it's this one. Is it, or is it this one? I think it's, no, it's this one. It's this one, the exit point right there. This one's got some interesting stuff you can like try and fly through, but um, th that implies we just dump, jump off the platform the right way so we don't die immediately. And now we can like buzz around the cliffs and have a grand old time here. Oh, this is, I like this, this. I wish you could get like the actual helmet camera, but this is an interesting view too. Let's dodge that pole. Uh, where else can we buzz through? I don't know. It's, this seems like this is a pretty fun thing now. You can mess around and fly near the mountains, but. Um, in my humble opinion, um, my take on Steep is I can play it for a little bit and come back here and there, but I can't really play the game continuously because eventually it just gets kind of boring flying around, to me at least. But um, if I come back here and there and play, like I, I, I took a couple months break off this game, now that I'm playing it again, it's a lot of, I'm having a lot of fun with it, as I just struggle super hard to be able to get through here. But it does seem like this might, some of those challenges about giving your guy, or hitting your guy the hardest on the snow is going to be a lot easier to do now with, um, with the what rocket wings. You can go so much faster than anything else before this. Uh, it's just kind of, yeah, it's just maneuver around. And also, if you happen to not be a subscriber of mine and you found this video, maybe you're interested in sticking around for other videos in the future. I don't know, let me know what you think there. It's, uh, we shoot down this little gap here. When you can't even, you can't even dive steep enough with this. And sorry if the... Oh, come on. Just, just go. Just go. Make it. There we go. Activate the rockets and start flying down the mountain again. Let's see how far we can go without crashing this time. Oh, I forgot we have... You can actually use brakes to slow this down, too. Let's see if we can buzz this guy by the gate here. This is something that's doable. Yes, it is. Alright, where's... Is there anybody else we can actually try and hit with this thing? I don't know, we'll, we'll try it, we'll, we'll buzz back up and find that guy, it's 405 meters this way. Where he, oh, he's gone now, aww. I wanted to try and hit him. So I wonder if you can actually kamikaze people, because I never figured that out, you can just smash into people and take them out. Don't know if that's possible. But you can definitely fly up, so if you don't have the, um, the helicopter tickets or whatever, this seems to be a pretty good way to explore the mountain and find new spots, because you can actually go uphill without too much of a struggle, as, um... OBS is apparently dying right now, so this, that's always a good sign. Um, with that, I might have to leave the video off here, because the game's apparently decided they wanted to die. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in another video.